I have this idea that I'm gonna name this video like hard launching my breakup. So if I did that, welcome. <laughs> Hi, I was wondering if you had availability for a haircut today. Hey guys, welcome to my breakup video. <laughs> okay, hey, I'm Audrey. My boyfriend and I broke up a while ago. Like, I wouldn't say this is like recent news in my life. However, it might be recent news to y'all because I literally have not said anything about it, which was like obviously the goal. I just have been spending the time healing by myself. I don't really know what to say. I don't know how to start this because I, I didn't really talk about my relationship much, I guess, but I also talk about my life and this is a big part of my life. That relationship was a big part of my life. What I've been like going through is a big part of my life. Going through a breakup is hard and i don't really know how much i'm gonna say in this vlog it's probably it's just gonna snowball i'm sure but um it was mutual and so that helped but like not really and basically just like long distance is hard um breakups are like a very normal thing and it's just like no one's like alone in that even if it feels like you're alone in the moment of feeling that so i guess i just wanted to share my experience a little bit and also just give y'all kind of that big life update i just wanted to tell y'all at some point and when i originally was filming this video which kind of i was filming it like as i was going through it i was just like picking up the camera and i wanted to originally make it more of like a vlog i wanted it to be a normal video and just show how i was getting my mind off of things and what i was doing to make myself feel better so in the original vlog which i'll show footage i worked out i did pilates which i honestly should get back into because it was really fun <laughs> I cleaned my room because a clean room leads to a clean mind. I don't even know if y'all can tell how dirty and messy and <sighs> not good my apartment is. Uh, so number one thing that happens when you're not feeling your best, I feel like, is your space gets really messy. I'm you're I'm talking about myself, but I'm pretty sure that's like a not an original. Uh, thing but also the number one thing that will make you feel better is walking into like a clean fresh space which I haven't been doing for the past like week um so I'm gonna clean I actually already did like my room my bathroom as I was like kind of getting ready and listening to music but we're gonna tackle this so here we go Genuinely, like just looking at a clear counter space makes me feel so much better. Even if you're like not even going through a breakup, if you're just feeling like in a funk, you're just feeling off, go clean your room. It'll be worth it. Just put on some music and go clean your room. Bought myself flowers because obviously. <laughs> We're also running to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna get myself flowers. It'll just make me feel better. And I need butter. On the breakup playlist, thought I'd share this is what I've been listening to Renee Rapp's entire album is amazing in the kitchen literally makes me cry but not actually because speaking of my mental well-being I haven't as of until yesterday I had like a four to five day period where I didn't cry at all but I felt like I needed to so I don't know what's up with that yeah I just feel so weird I'll feel really sad and I'll be like why am I like off today that's why so yeah i know it won't work by gracie abrams such a good one the entire kelsey ballerini rolling up the welcome mat ep heart-wrenching but so amazing i also met her randomly on wednesday and miley cyrus's new album like literally renee rap miley cyrus and kelsey ballerini are just like fueling breakup 
vibes right now. I got a haircut, because what else do you do when you go through a breakup? Hi, I was wondering if you had availability for a haircut today. Do you have a one o'clock with Kara? That would potentially work. Okay. Okay, so I have a haircut appointment at 1 p.m. today. Um, the way it works for me is I feel like I need a haircut, but I can never, like, book it in advance. So that's where it is. I'm not doing anything crazy, despite my current mental state um but i'm thinking just like this much like a good amount and i want layers um so yeah i'm gonna get a haircut later okay guys i'm cutting it myself below 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 oh, below yep right there my fault. there you go Honestly, felt so good. So glad I did it. <laughs> Guys, I actually love it. It's shorter than I thought it was going to be, but surprisingly, like, it feels so good. I feel great. Like, actually, I absolutely love how it turned out. And it just feels so free and light. And so, yeah, that's my haircut. I love it. I kept going to my internship and my classes, uh, honestly, anything to like keep me busy, which wasn't hard because I was so busy and I think that's why, also why I haven't talked about it, like I just have been like going, going, going this whole semester. I just wanted to share my internship outfit. I thought it was cute. This sweater from Princess Polly. This is from Anthropology. Trousers from Aritzia. And then I showed the vlog these, but on my Instagram, you've seen them. I got Vejas, but I got these like ribbon laces from Amazon. And they're the cutest thing ever. I'm obsessed. So yeah, uh, update on the breakup. I just called one of my best friends, Mia. I texted her this morning and I was like, life update and so gave her the rundown honestly telling your friends is the hardest part because sometimes i'm like ugh, i don't want to talk about it again so yeah if you're watching this and we're friends and this is the first time you've heard of it i apologize love y'all going to my internship just trying to keep myself busy during the days honestly life was normal and i think that's the weird part because being long distance, you like, don't see each other every day. And so I very much like had my own independent life here and schedule and everything that my everyday routine didn't change. Like I didn't ever see him in person anyways during the week. And so there wasn't that part that I was missing that I had to like fill the time. I guess the only time that I was filling is the time that I usually would be FaceTiming him. So I think that helped a lot, but also at the same time, so at some points made it feel not real like it was very easy to forget hey oh uh, i'm gonna cry which i think is good but basically this is like the first entire full day that we haven't talked at all which is so hard and even though like i had a really busy day and i like saw friends and i worked out and i was really productive like, at the end of the day, like, my routine is to FaceTime him and talk to him. I mean, like, I could, <laughs> but I'm not going to. It's almost like my body knows something's wrong. Like, my head is, like, normal most of the time, but, like, I just get really sad. That's where I'm at. Just kind of wanted to talk to someone, um, but I don't want to actually talk to a real person because I don't want to, like, I don't want to deal with them right now. So I'll just talk to y'all. Also, writing in my journal helps a lot, but I also don't feel like writing right now because I'm trying to write a paper. And so writing in my journal just is like, whatever. So that's my video. Video diary. Although it was mutual, it didn't make it easier. I guess the only part that made it easier is that I know like it was the right decision. I feel like both of us are 
we're in such like a pivotal moment in our lives of like growth. I'm about to be 22 years old and I just, I have so much on my plate. He had so much on his plate. We just didn't want to hold each other back. I think that a long distance relationship takes a lot of energy and a lot of time and just like emotionally a lot from you. Yeah, it's hard. I really thought that, like, me filming this so much later, I wasn't gonna cry. Um, <laughs> I, like, absolutely do not regret doing long distance for as long as we did. We made, like, such great memories, and there's just still so much love there. But at the same time, like, I know it's the right decision, and I'm really excited for, like, the new chapter of my life that's already started, really. <laughs> like, because there was so much love there, like, there's still so much hurt and sadness. And I, I think a lot of, like, that and the hardest part has been just, like, losing the friend aspect. Like, he was my best friend for years. Hold on. Okay. Anyways, it was just, like, a really big constant in my life that changed. So a lot of change comes with that. Even sitting here filming this, like, obviously I just cried, like... I still have moments. I guess I guess I'll say some of my tips that I've learned. Um, if you're going through a breakup or if you want to put it in your back pocket for if it ever happens to you. But I will say no contact is better as much as it sucks. And like all you want to do is talk to them because they're the ones that like usually make you feel better. But it's like so much easier to move on and just start healing. Especially like... As tempting as it is to talk to them again it ends up just almost hurting more in the end because you have to start all over and miss them even more whatever i think also like a really hard part is the thought of him moving on with someone else like hurts but it's all about perspective if i want to find someone that makes me happy he deserves the same chance as that really turning to like your other support system like family and friends has really helped or just like internally being comfortable that like you are all you need for yourself i've been praying a lot just because like i know everything happens for a reason and i think that's what gives me peace in all of this is that it wasn't it's it's not right right now i also don't want this to be discouraging to anyone in a long distance relationship because every relationship is different you have to do what's best for you and you have to do what's most realistic and like what's gonna be the best for you in your life and your growth and your journey heartbreak's a normal thing don't be scared to take that step for yourself although like it sucks at some points there are also a lot of points that feels really good um and you'll get through it it's not always going to hurt this bad at least that's what everyone says no but honestly like me in some of these original clips i probably wouldn't even think that i would be feeling as good as i am like today and again i have like those sad moments but it really just like takes time so be patient with yourself and know that you're loved no matter what and that like you are enough and all you really need is yourself so that was my breakup video i love y'all and thanks for being interested in my life <laughs> i appreciate it i'm probably just rambling on at this point so i'm just gonna end the video i love you all so much go follow me on instagram although the breakup content has been going on longer than y'all know so nothing really new for me but yeah feels good to let y'all in on my life update. I love you all and I will see you in my next video.